I'm so excited to be here today with Guy Vaknin of Beyond Sushi. Thank Hello, you everyone. so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So you make vegan plant-based sushi. For those of us who think like that's kind of the opposite of what we think of yeah. sushi, you know, why is plant-based sushi such a phenomenon now? And why is it a good thing for people to make at home? So first, uh, I created this as, a, as an answer, a fun way for a plant-based uh, uh, sushi for me it was uh, more of a vessel carrying the same uh, beautiful flavors together. It's a nice package, and it has taken off. I mean, with the creativity and putting uh, whatever you basically imagine in your head that you can put inside. Uh, we took it to the healthier side, using better mm -hmm. rice, better ingredients, wholesome ingredients, no imitations. Uh, not trying to really imitate sushi per se, but just using it as a vessel to deliver great flavor uh, with great textures. So for today, I brought our uh, winter special roll. It has black rice on the outside. Uh, inside we put baby kale, roasted red beets, uh, marinated with balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. uh, and garlic, and broccoli. Very simple ingredients that you can find in any uh, supermarket and put together. We cut the beets after they're roasted uh, into uh, matchsticks uh, like these, and then we're gonna stick them inside. Make them easy to yes. roll up. <laughs> On the top of it, we have a few layers, so mm. we don't just keep that right. boring. You wanna get asparagus. it as exciting as right. possible, yeah. So on top of it, we, uh, we actually roasted sunchokes blended them, made a puree out of them, mm. and mixed it up with uh, crushed walnuts. Mm. And that uh, adds on our, uh, our nuts into it, which adds mm -hmm. the protein. And uh, we try to make sure that every roll uh, is not only pretty and, and flavorful, but has a nutritional value. When you're eating it, it's not just... Right, you can get a whole meal from yes, it. exactly. So our black rice, we want to take uh, enough to cover our nori. Uh, the nori sheet is just a... Uh, your mm -hmm. regular nori sheet. The same you would get, same you for, would get for, any, mm -hmm. for any sushi. Uh, it's a half a sheet. This guy is about two ounces uncooked rice, mm -hmm. four ounces cooked. It's a quarter of a, of a cut. So it's mm -hmm. not a lot of rice and not a lot of carbs, but it's definitely enough. But uh, enough that it really, yeah. you, you want to get a good like handful there. So Don't skimp on it. What mm -hmm. we're doing is after the rice is cooled down, mm -hmm. we're going to take the rice and spread it across the nori. Uh, evenly, okay? And we are actually going to make an inside out roll, which is not mm. traditional Japanese. And here, we're going to spread it across the nori, basically all around, mm -hmm. and then we're going to flip it over. What that allows us to do is to put more things inside. inside. And the mm. idea is that we get uh, all the flavors and all the ingredients in there. What I've done with this roll, normally we cut our ends and it's nice and perfect. In this roll, I'm using the broccolini there's a garnish at the end of it. Mm. We're gonna leave those ends and when we oh, cut, beautiful. it's gonna look You'll like a little yeah. trees, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put our beets in there and it's gotta be nice and even so we can roll it up perfectly mm -hmm. afterwards. Uh, and then we're gonna put our baby kale in there, okay? The baby kale is much more subtle in flavor, easier to work with. After you do all of this mm -hmm. and it's nice and even, what we're gonna do is roll it. We're gonna start with one side and, uh, mm. and you wanna tuck it in as Got tight it. as possible. Don't try to go with everything all at once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you want to tuck it in as, as tight as possible. And once that rice touches the nori on the other side, it's going to mm -hmm. stick. Uh, and the tighter it is, the better. It will be easier to cut afterwards so it doesn't, mm. it doesn't break apart. Okay? And once we've done that, we have a nice, our nice roll ready to go. And then, like we said, we have our topping that will go on mm -hmm. top. And we're going to put it right on top. We're using our fingers just to get it nice and even across. We're gonna use a plastic uh, piece to go on top so our mat doesn't stick mm. to our topping. And this mat is basically just to shape. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing about sushi and the biggest thing that you wanna do is to make sure you have a sharp knife. It doesn't have to be an expensive knife, yeah. but it's gotta be sharp. And we're gonna cut it into bite size. Yeah. So we're gonna cut through and we're gonna cut it in half. And we're gonna cut this side in half again. We're just gonna work ourselves through until we get eight pieces, okay? And then we're just gonna plate it. We're gonna put a little bit of ginger, a little bit of wasabi. And our sauces for this roll are the uh, red beet sauce. Mm. And then we made a, a, a scallion and apple cider vinegar sauce. That goes right on top. And this just gives it a nice treat of color. It gives it the fat that we uh, talked about to balance out the acid. Real pretty. Beautiful. And this will just drizzle on top on our little tree, <laughs> on our little tree over here, and that's it. 
we got our special Perfect. winter roll. Awesome. Well, Guy, thank you so much for coming and showing us how to make vegetarian sushi. Sure. And obviously, if you want the real deal yourself, you can always go to Beyond Sushi. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.